it took me like four years to put on an outfit that's literally just a crop top jeans and sandals so this is what i'm wearing i have a recording at nine it's like 8 20 right now and like my jeans are so wrinkled like i can't fix anything i literally steamed my cotton shirt like that's where we're at right now oh hi everyone welcome to vlog week day three or two day Three. Today Wednesday? Yes, it's day three. I don't think I've actually entered this vlog. I'm leaving for the late today, but first I have a recording and then I'm getting Botox actually. And then I have to come back, pack, leave for the lake. I have pretty much my outfits picked out and stuff. I wanted to take some pictures there, so we will see if that actually ends up happening. I feel like I'm gonna end up just being lazy, so. Changed again. Oh my gosh. Sitting like this with jeans. Um, anyways, I'm wearing a black tank top now, as you guys can see. Something about my outfits today, just like not a single one of them was working, so. I'm recording today, finally, actually, with Greg Kelly and Gabriel Kelly. I just made some avocado toast, and then I actually made, um, finally, a mushroom coffee mix from my Four Sigmatic. I didn't bring my camera down, but, and then I added just like a little bit of honey to it. So, we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna put something like on the TV really quick. I've had this episode prepped for like over a week because we have just kept pushing back our recording. So I need to get in my recording zone, uh, make sure everything is set up. If you guys ever wonder what equipment I use and stuff like that, I have an entire Amazon shop page that is kind of dedicated to, that is, it's not kind of dedicated, that is dedicated to um, everything that I share. And then right after that, I have to go to my Botox appointment. Oh my gosh, Emma Chamberlain was on the morning toast. This is literally iconic. Guys, I'm feeling a little on top of my game, not gonna lie. New vlog just went up of vlog week day two. Very exciting. Then I just posted the video that I filmed yesterday with Dom or recorded, I guess, I don't know, on Zoom. And that is now up on the living room. Again, if you guys are not aware, the living room is my faith content subscription. It's on uh, Patreon, podcast style episodes, uh, videos, Q and A's, like all of it. And I'm starting a car confessional series with my friends. It's like an inside joke that everyone just like confesses all of their lives in my car. So now we're just gonna have like really, really like raw conversations basically. Um, and I think you guys will really like it. So I'm gonna post the promo to the living room Instagram right now, and then my recording is in 10 minutes. I just recorded with the Kellys. Okay, wait, uh, it was so incredible, guys. Like, I, if you guys haven't seen the documentary, Outcry, you should go watch it, but I just think like who they are as people. The reason I really wanted them to come on is because I was just so impressed with how they have handled so much scrutiny and so much just pain in their lives and come out on the other side and just been so positive i just think that they're incredible i need to import this footage and then i'm going to get botox so um i absolutely love them i just think that they're i love them i think that they're incredible i think you guys will really like this episode they're just absolutely the best people all right guys i'm currently saving instagram stories i am about five minutes late but i literally cannot find this place anywhere my first time getting Botox people this is exciting I'll let you guys know how I like it I'm not that stressed about it I've wanted it for a long time I don't know how painful it is I didn't even think about the fact that there's like shots going into my forehead today honestly guys Snyder's Plaza really reminds me of Robertson kind of ish like I don't know how to describe it. It just is very feels like LA to me like Beverly Hills Robertson I don't know. All right guys. I was in and out of that like so quick. It wasn't even painful at all Um, it's on my Instagram stories. I'm like a, I'll save a highlight so you guys can go back to it, but I can like feel That there's something going on, but like not really it was like a really easy experience so um, shut I can't work out for 24 hours, so I'm not working out today. Darn, you know, that sucks. I did pack using my new base bag. This is Shay Mitchell's travel line, and I actually have the makeup bag already, and I know a lot of you guys have bought it. It's, um, actually down here. It fits perfectly, so I have, like, all my skincare, hair tools, all that. I could have probably fit shoes. Cause I'm not, I don't really wear makeup, like this makeup bag is honestly too big just for my everyday, I need a smaller one, but I haven't gone through and like consolidated it. 
And then in here, it fits so much stuff because I had to bring other outfits, hopefully, to shoot with and a few pairs of shoes and all that. Um, so I love this. I will link it down below, guys. I actually think this is like the best weekender bag to ever exist. Like, I am. I'm so impressed at how big it got. Also, yes, I still have my bedding up from downstairs. Let's just not talk about it. I really am just so impressed with this bag. So I'll link it down below. Obviously, like, not sponsor or anything, but I just think it is so freaking great. Like, if you're doing any weekend trips or you just pack lighter, this is, like, so good. Or if you're on set, um, yeah, I'm just, like, really impressed. And I do like the colors a lot, so. I just picked up Q. We got lunch. Chick-fil-A shocker and then we're gonna go get the dogs and then head off to the house drunk elephant sent me this bracelet and Q stole it from me so it's pretty cool Oh my gosh. Those are great too. You're the best, thank you. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Both the pups. Ready? Let's give this a go at the same time. Thank you. You too. She was so nice. Okay. Oh, buddy. Coco, you love puppuccinos. Oh. Aw, she's so happy. Okay, so my sister is like obsessed with pigs. She has this thing where. I don't know honestly where it came from, but just since she was like a child, like two years old, she was obsessed with pigs. So I just sent her a photo that I saw on um, a friend's Instagram of this pig, right? I said, this one's for you. And she said, oh, I said, it's my new pig. And she said, wait, no way. I said, yep, those are Sophie's sunglasses. So I think you look at it. This is the <laughs> photo. Guys, like she's, I, Maddie will actually fall for it. All right, well, guys, if you guys are not familiar, Starbucks gives puppuccinos. Honestly, most coffee places have copied now and give puppuccinos. La La Land does too. Yeah, La La Land, White Rock, a lot of them. But normally they're in little, like, espresso shot things. These are pretty big cups for them. Oh, wow. We are going to the Texas Lake House, so there's two. So my mom now, um, like, my parents own lake properties that they do short-term rentals in. And it's empty this week, so we're going. This is their second one. She just started this a few months ago, and this isn't like waterfront. I think the next house they buy, there by the end of this, there will be a waterfront one. I think the next month or something. I don't know. So, anyways, they don't just like have a bunch of uh, lake houses. They're like renting them. They're, that's what the like business is. But oh, Coco. Anyways, we're going to the Texas one. I actually haven't been to this one yet. They just finished this, I think, last week. Like, she just bought this one. Hey, uh... I <laughs> like it. made it to the lake I just got out of the shower I pretty much took a photo and immediately showered because I just felt kind of gross today and my skin has just been really dry anyways I actually tried some of the new products that I got earlier and I really like them but I like lathered it looks like I have mascara under my eye maybe I, but like I thought I wiped it all off anyways if any of you guys want to come stay here you actually can um, I'll have it like linked down below or something but I'll give you guys a little tour bitch you're just so cute look at you Okay, we'll start from outside. Ooh, do, 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 do. Okay. My family will like probably do holidays out here or something. We haven't really decided. I actually think we'll go to the other house because the other house is a lot bigger, but very cute. You go out here. We just have a lot of seating areas. I love, I love this like love seat thing. Why can I not think of what it's actually named? It's just really cute. Anyways, this is cute. It's very like my mom is appealing to this crowd of like southern people, you know? <laughs> um, okay, so this over here, there's a little fire pit over here. We can't use this yet because they just, like I said, just bought this and finished it and they haven't. Oh, it's locked right now. But 
Um, we have a whole like spa jacuzzi in here, which is so cool. Like really, really freaking cool, but they haven't figured out how to like work it yet. I don't know. And then that's really great for photo backdrops, but um, yeah, I don't know what's in there. Then we go over here. I believe that this is like a three bedroom. We have a ring security system. My stepdad like started talking to me earlier in it. It literally terrified me. So here is like the living room area. Do you feel like the air is kicked in? Yeah, I guess I hear it. Um, okay, cool. So all of this, this area is cute. A little breakfast nook. Got all this over here. Over here is the washer and dryer. This is the kitchen. I love this sink actually, it's so big. Over here. So when they bought it, it was all blue. So they just kind of went with it instead of having to repaint and redo everything like they did last time. Um, this honestly kind of reminds me of like a Florida condo too. But yeah, like- it's very nautical. Yeah. Um, Shout out to Mel designing it. That's my mom. Design. Oh my gosh, fit stuff. My grandpa was telling my mom that she can't make it like too modern and like actually cool because a lot of people who rent out here like fishermen and stuff, especially at the Oklahoma one. Yeah. So they wouldn't, they would stop renting if it was like, you know what I mean? It needs yeah. to be like, have that southern thing to it. Here's the fire pit. Fitz won't stop bothering me. Fitz, TV. Come. Come. Over here. Fitz, we have a bedroom. Fitz, come. Big closets all throughout. Um, this I think is just not exciting. Fitz. This is a bathroom. Cute. Fitz is following me everywhere because he loves the camera. Then over here we have, hello everyone, another bedroom, bunch of closets. And then we have the master, bunch of closets. Over here, here we go to master bath, which I, I just showered in here. Guys, I'm going to have to edit so much of this clip because I keep just like not being able to talk. I don't know what's up. Guys, Q is like in the best mood ever. <laughs> he was not having a good day. <laughs> and he's like, wow, look at this lamp post. <laughs> like, so good. it feels actually like really good out, not gonna lie. Guys, we are going on a very exciting trip. We're going on a little run to Unbelievable run. Walmart, which I actually, I actually really don't know the last time I would have been to Walmart because like there's not really Walmart in LA. And then I haven't been to Walmart since we got back. I we mean, tennis the rackets. last time I went to Walmart was with you and it was in North. Oh, last minute before Christmas. Oh my gosh, who remembers in Vlogmas when my, I don't think I even vlogged this. I think I briefly mentioned it. I was leaving for New York the next morning and my suitcase broke, right? Did you break it? I don't know, whatever, sure it doesn't matter. But I'm not sure. I feel like it was you because you felt really bad for like no reason, but it doesn't matter. So we Wait, had- was I the one? I think I drove by myself to get it. No, I went with you. But I had to leave for the airport at like 4 a.m. And this I was like 12.30. Yeah, it was like, no, it was 11.30 and everything is closed. Besides, there was a Walmart that was like 20 minutes north that we didn't even know was there was open. And I went and I got a suitcase. I still have that suitcase actually. So actually, that was the last time, but I just, it was a bad memory. So I just shoved it out. Shoved. That must have been what that was. It's great music guys. In the beautiful land of Walmart. Who's DJing out here? <laughs> They're way ahead of their time. <laughs> Guys, Q is actually a five-year-old in the grocery store. She does that. I think that we should try it. I mean, I don't know. Does it look horrible? It looks pretty awful, but we're here for it. <laughs> Great. So we should get, um, Lovita. The grocery store just really highlights how impatient I am. Um, we'll maybe. Okay, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I love Velveeta original mac and cheese. I know people are like really haters. Yeah, let's just try one so that we don't. Yeah. I mean, they're both 96 cents. I mean. Oh wait, the box is 96 cents, and that's 96. Yeah. No, then let's get the box. Come on, bargain shoppers. Oh my gosh, more cheeses. Okay. So I'm cooking tonight and then that will give us leftovers. We have stuff for breakfast, mac and cheese. I mean, we're like really stocked because we're only here. It's Wednesday night and we're here till Friday morning. 
going so, for it. We're really going for it. Who wants this? Yeah, that's a great one. <laughs> Come on. He wants a soccer ball. He played college soccer, so. Dabble. He wants to go back to his roots. By the way, Q is 25. I get that question all the time. That made just it sound like 25. you were like years and years out of college. Yeah, just turned 25. Should I just do the ch No, it's not. It's not I mean, if you're like, you just have to keep in mind that you're gonna play. Like, Fitz is probably gonna. Yeah. Well, this is still like a really cheap bog. You're very, very cheap. Divided by 90. Guys, we somehow spent $90 on groceries for 36 hours, but five meals. I guess it's not bad. I don't know though. At the same time, like I don't even spend 90. I mean, I spend five. 90 on my week normally. Well, so like, that's and we're at Walmart. So Anyways, like, we also got the soccer ball though. $20 a meal, $10 a person. Okay. What? <laughs> $90, five meals. You are living. Q is literally so happy to be in Denison, Texas right now. Like, he's over the moon. So bright. You know like, how Walmart is? People come to Walmart in the wildest fits. Humans weird at Walmart people, or something like that? Walmart. Something. I don't know. It's like a funny website. I don't know. But if you go on that website, you know. If you're an avid, frequent Walmart goer, are you? You've been in, you've worn every kind of fit to Walmart. Grateful. Really grateful. We're just really grateful to be outside of our house. I'll start the car for you. Put some hand sanitizer on you, there. I love how you're like, oh, we're, we love small towns. After you were like, oh, I could just, I could literally never. Hey guys, we're back from Walmart. I'm gonna do a Walmart haul for you guys on what we got for the weekend. I mean, it's, I keep saying weekend, it's literally Wednesday. First thing. Whipping cream, some syrup. Oh, hi guys. Oh, the dots are back. You got this Starbucks drink. I got another one. I got some kombucha. Fitz. That no was more. rude. That was very rude, Fitz. The famous Cheetos mac and cheese. Bold and cheesy. Guys, this does not look good at all. Then I got this Starbucks drink. I've never seen this one. I used to love these when I was little, but like I know that they're awful for you and I just don't care at all. Velveeta shells. Comment down below. I feel like this might cause some controversy on the channel. Um, I love Velveeta mac and cheese. And I also love Kraft, but I like this the best. But my grandpa just makes it really, makes this, and it's like so much better than, I don't know what he does. He does something different to it, and it's really good. I guess Q got two coffees, because he also got the Starbucks double shot espresso. Why did you get two coffees? Behind my back? No, you looked at it. No, I thought you were gonna one. Q grocery shopping is like popcorn, Cheetos, da da da. Let's my soccer ball. Like literally, like a five-year-old. High in sausage. I'll show you guys what I'm making. Pump for Quentin soccer ball. I'm literally not kidding, guys. Carmex deodorant, tortellini, some chicken stock. Oh my gosh, fresh tomatoes and then tomato paste. Q insisted that we get Jimmy Dean delights. It's just like egg white, egg whites. That's what I got. All right. So we have waffles and... Well, I haven't gotten to that part yet. Are we gonna show them this? Yeah, I haven't gotten there yet. So those are delicious. Okay, and did you wanna do the honors of sharing your... Power Waffles Kodak. If you guys haven't had those before, if you guys really want a good. treat, like these actually taste really, really good. We haven't had the cinnamon ever, but we did the chocolate chip, the so tall, chocolate chip ones, but um, these are cinnamon, so... Big fans. Big fans? Now, oh my gosh, out of our entire grocery haul, oh. this takes the cake. Even though it's a cookie, it takes the cake. Maple cream, vanilla Oreos. I just, I just like, I, I mean, I don't know. I feel I'm like I should try one right now. I'm feeling neutral about those. And I'm about to go for a run, but should I have one? Yeah. Um, an onion. As you become an adult, you realize that the life, that the world revolves around onions. Some peaches. Oh. And kale. That was a really good parallel. Look at the difference between <laughs> us. Kale and your Oreo. That's delicious. Wow. You actually need to try one. I mean, I just am not like that into maple stuff. Just like gotta put the Oreos. Onion in there. Just eat it. It's What's good. your holiday drink? Ma maple anything for me signifies that it's fall and that Christmas is coming. I'm a big fall guy. Cooler weather. 
toasted white mocha at Starbucks. The just got prelude latte. That's pretty fire. So it's good. Okay, I'm making my favorite tortellini Italian sausage soup. So I have the Italian sausage, onions, and then I'm about to pour in chicken stock and then crushed tomatoes and tomato paste. I'm actually cooking tortellini, which I normally don't do, but that was my only option. I normally okay, I'm just using like random kitchen supplies because I just don't know where things are, but I added in heavy cream, kale, and the tortellini. This is like one of my favorite things to make. It's just so freaking good. So just finished. It looks so freaking good. I'm not going to lie though. The quality of the ingredients that we got today at Walmart are just, um, not because Walmart didn't have good ones. To clarify, like a lot of it, um, they were just running low on things and then we just got not the best quality ingredients and I really just think it's going to show tonight, guys. One time we took a, a cooking class, actually technically a baking class at Italy. And we made tiramisu, and the chef said it's all about the quality of ingredients, and now I'm feeling, you know, a little um, insecure about that today as I really cheaped out. Here are our soups. They're so good. Oh my gosh, guys, this is probably, like, the, honestly, you start this and you're done within 30 minutes. It takes zero time. Guys, so as we've established, it is so dark. We just ate dinner, and we just added Cheez-Its to it. Um, because we just should not have cheaped out on the ingredients. I mean, it was still good. It's just like not what it normally is. So I try to not tell Quentin when I get new skincare now because if you guys remember, we had a little uh, Sony to car fiasco when um, suddenly my like $150 serum uh, was just gone out of nowhere and Quentin's skin was glowing. So, uh, you know. It wasn't gone. There was just. No, it was gone. I put it in here, and I knew that you would have pushed for it, but I just figured that you were gonna go in there. I told him that there was a vitamin C serum that I got today, and that was it. We love good skincare. Mm -hmm. Hydrating serum, and vitamin C lotion. Oh, so mm -hmm. you put the serum on, then the lotion. Yeah, I'm gonna put some more vitamin okay. C on. I'm gonna put some hydrating serum on. What a time to live. I definitely got too much, but. Ooh. So basically, this stuff will be gone by like, you know, uh, next week. End of the month. I've been doing my Botox exercise since that they told me to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Trying to do them with me? Mm -hmm. No, I don't want wrinkles. Oh, I know, me neither. That's so why I got Botox, you know? My skin will just be like. Oh, I do feel, I do kind of feel a little bit of bruising there. It's a little sore. Uh, vitamin C is so good for your skin. I know, it actually is like the biggest game changer. I've broken out more. I think that I'm getting that mask me out that everyone's talking about. Like you get, I know which mask it is too because it's the one I wore. I know which one it is. And it's the one that I have here. That or it's like hormonal. But like, I don't know why all of a sudden they're breaking out. Weird, right? Very weird. I just still, I mean, we're on like day four or five of these nails and like I'll never get over them. It was a power move on your half. Okay, are you done? Wait. Oh gosh. I am also going to use this. Hydrating. Oh, gel. Oh, eye gel. Can oh, you... oh, oh. Is it going to bug it? Is it going to? Oh, he's a YouTuber. No. Hyaluronic. Hyaluronic. Hyaluronic acid. <laughs> it's very good for you. I think that's the first time that I don't know where it is. You have I actually didn't look at it. Oh, he's like, I would have known it. Okay. Quentin has a little competition problem over here. A little too competitive, you know what I mean? You know? Would you agree? Uh, no, 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 no. Always use your ring finger when it's under your eye. It's why? more gentle. You have to be very gentle under your oh, eye. Oh, yeah. Your ring finger is more gentle than your other fingers. Okay. Guys, please in the comments down below, tell him that you're, that's just like a known thing, okay? My pointy finger is pretty strong. 
your ring finger is definitely more gentle than the rest of your like you can tell that all right i need everyone to back me up on this one okay you done good. yeah feel great feel good feel hydrated we finished dinner lotion? no we finished dinner and he's like so uh where's that that stuff you were talking about earlier did you hide it clearly not Okay, well, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I need to put my camera on a charger and stuff. It's only like nine, so I'll probably like go watch a movie or something. Or a show. Quentin said that we have to start watching new shows and we can't keep rewatching the shows we've already seen. I, I said there's a lot of movies, there's a lot of. We options. do. We always watch, because Quentin loves chick flicks. We always watch chick flicks just, from like early 2000s. Romantic comedies. I feel like, like just calling it a chick flick is degrading. Romantic comedy. It's the best genre. Rom com. No. Yeah. So that is it for today's vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new here. Oh, Kogo wanted to say something. Hi. Oh, I love her. Where's Fitz? In the kitchen? In the kitchen. Coco, mm -hmm. say bye. Oh, she, we gotta fix her. Get a little. Give her say a little. Say goodbye, Coco. Say goodbye. Do, 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 do. Coco's getting a bath. Coco, get a bath. <laughs> get